Ordinary boy, Alex, is getting ready for his first day at Royale High. He's excited but nervous. Dad, today is the day I start Royal High. I can't believe it. I know, son. I'm so proud of you. Remember to be yourself and make friends. Leo shouldn't be your only friend this year. Okay, Alex? Yes, Dad. Oh no, I'm gonna be late. Don't forget your bag. And don't forget your lunch, old man. You need your energy for this hyper behavior you have. Got it. Bye, Mom and Dad. Mom? How did you get your powers? Well, Real High has a way of bringing out your true potential. I developed the ability to manipulate water during my time there. It was an incredible experience. I made lifelong friends and learned so much about myself. That sounds amazing, Mom. What do you think my powers will be? You find out, my dear. The important thing is to embrace the journey, learn from your experience, and always be kind to others. Royal High is not just about gaining power, it's about growing as a person. I'll remember that, Mom. Leo is waiting for me, so I better go. Have a fantastic first day, dear, and don't hesitate to ask for help if you need it. You do great. Thanks, Mom. Now go and make the most of this special day. Alex rushes out of the room, full of excitement and curiosity about his new school, Royale High, and the potential powers he might discover there. Dahlia watches him go, her heart filled with pride and nostalgia for her own time at the Magical Academy. Alex arrives at Royale High on the school bus and sees Leo waiting. They both waved at each other as they entered the school entrance together. Alex, my dude! Ready to conquer Royale High together? You bet, Leo. Let's do this. I wonder what this school will be like. I don't know, but you will earn your powers here with training, as far as I know. Making their way to the headmaster's office to start their adventure at Royale High as they enter the Grand Royale High campus. Will this school change their fate? Alex and Leo meet Headmaster Maxwell and introduce them to the school. Welcome to Royale High, young Alex and Leo. Here, you'll discover your unique powers and talents. But remember, it's not just about the magic, it's about the bonds you form. Now then, meet Poppy at the front desk, she can help you out. After leaving the headmaster's office, Alex notices Poppy, an upperclassman at the front desk. Alex and Leo approaches Poppy. Hi, I'm Alex, and this is Leo. Where do we need to go? Take a left, and you will be at the locker courtyard. I'm Poppy, by the way. Thanks, Poppy. By the way, do you know when we can get our powers? Of course! But remember, your powers will awaken in their own time. Alex and Leo become friends with Poppy, and Poppy waved goodbye to both of them as they make their way to the locker courtyard. Alex and Leo start walking down to the locker courtyard, as Leo starts talking about the eclipse that is happening later that evening, but not knowing who is listening on the other side. Alex, tonight's the night! The eclipse! I hope that I'll be able to figure out how to unlock my powers. Leo, will you be there to support me on this journey? Of course, buddy. I'm always here for you. As they talk, Tina, an upperclassman, approaches them in her elegant dress flowing gracefully. Did I overhear you talking about the eclipse, boys? Yes, we're just discussing it. Well, I can tell you that the eclipse is a time of great magic. If you seek your powers, you must follow the moon's path. Who knows? Just me talking nonsense. I have to run to class. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. What's your name? I'm Tina. Oh, somebody seems interested. No, I'm not. We're gonna be late. What class? Room 104. Let's go. 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 Alex and Leo grab their books and make a run for their homeroom, not sure what to expect, but they make their way to see what is in store for them. Breathing heavily from their sprint, they arrive outside room 104. They exchange quick glances, adjust their uniforms, and then push the door open to the classroom. Miss Wellmore, their homeroom teacher, stands at the front of the room. Welcome everyone to room 104. I'm Miss Wellmore, and I'll be your homeroom teacher for this year. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. Alex and Leo walks to the two empty seats in the front and adjust themselves for class. Both seem excited to learn more about magic and elements. We made it in time. Barely. Now let's see what this class is all about. 
As Miss Wellmore begins to take attendance, a new student, Damien, enters the room. He has a confident look about him, with striking silver hair and captivating amethyst-colored eyes. Sorry for being late, Miss Wellmore. I got a little lost on my way here. No worries. We have another new student joining us. Everyone, meet Damien. Damien walks towards Alex and Leo, taking the seat beside Leo. Hey there. Mind if I take the empty seat next to you guys? Sure thing, Damien. I'm Alex, and this is Leo. Hi, Damien. Nice to meet you. Likewise, this place seems interesting. Miss Wellmore continues with the introduction, and as the class settles down, the trio of friends, Alex, Leo, and Damien, prepare for their first day of classes at Royale High, curious about the magical adventures and new friendships that await them. In room 104, the class is settled in their seats, eagerly awaiting Miss Wellmore's lesson. Miss Wellmore stands at the front of the room, ready to teach all she knows about the elements. Welcome, students. Today we start on a journey to discover the magic within you. Magic at Royal High comes in many forms, known as the magical elements. Alex, Leo, and Damien exchange curious glances, intrigued by the concept of magical elements. There are six primary magical elements, fire, water, nature, light, dark, and ice. On the board, a projector displays behind Miss Wellmore showcasing images representing each element. With light radiating a warm glow, water flowing gracefully, ice shimmering with frost, fire burning brightly, dark cloaked in mystery, and nature teeming with life. Each element has its unique properties and abilities. To earn your magical powers, you must align with one of these elements and discover your talent within it. Your element will reflect your inner essence and strengths. To find your magical element, you'll start on a quest within the realm of Royale High. You must pay close attention to your experiences and feelings during this journey. This is so cool. I can't wait to discover our elements. It's like a rite of passage. Remember students, the path to discovering your element can be challenging, but it's also a time of self-discovery and growth. Embrace your journey and trust your instincts. Your element is waiting for you to unlock its potential. With her final encouraging words, Miss Wellmore ends the class, igniting excitement in the hearts of Alex, Leo, Damien, and their fellow students as they anticipate the magical adventures that lie ahead. Alex and Leo made their way to their shared dorm room at Royale High, having a look around before unpacking their belongings and settling into their new living space. Can you believe we're roommates, Alex? I know, right? This year is going to be unforgettable. A knock on the door interrupts their conversation. It's Tina, standing in the hallway. Roommates, huh? Mind if I join in on the fun? Of course, Tina. Come on in. Alex and Leo invite Tina into their dorm room. So, Tina, what's the latest on the eclipse and magical powers? Well, guys, I've got a secret to share. You see, you can get your powers easier during the eclipse. Easier? How? You can say it's a way to cheat the system. The moon's alignment during an eclipse is so powerful that it can accelerate your magical abilities. Really? But isn't that taking a shortcut? Doing the right thing is the honest way. Suit yourself, Alex. But I'm going to prove it to you both that this shortcut works. Tina stands up and heads toward the door. Meet me at the forest tonight. I'll show you that I'm telling the truth. Alex and Leo exchange uncertain glances, unsure if they should take Tina's offer. The prospect of an easier path to unlocking their powers has left them intrigued and conflicted. Thinking about what Tina said, Alex and Leo venture to the forest, and both are between curiosity and caution. Despite their thoughts, curiosity gets the better of them, and they decide to venture to the forest to meet Tina. Alex and Leo cautiously approach where they see Tina, who has set up a picnic blanket and is patiently waiting. Over here, guys. Alex and Leo join Tina at the picnic blanket. Tina, are you sure about this? It doesn't feel right. Trust me, Alex. The Eclipse's magic is like nothing else. It's a shortcut, but it won't harm anyone. So what's the plan? We're going to wait for the Eclipse to reach its peak. When the moon is fully in alignment with the stars, we'll channel its energy to unlock our magical abilities faster. Alex looks at Leo, uncertainty in his eyes. Leo, I don't think we should take the shortcuts. Magic should be earned the right way. Alex, 
I understand your concerns, but sometimes a little push can help us discover our potential. Don't worry, everything will be just fine. As the eclipse begins, the forest becomes bathed in enchanting moonlight. The trio waits in anticipation, their future as budding magic users hanging in the balance. Tina steps into the moonlight, and something goes terribly wrong. She transforms into Belladonna Shadowthorn, a dark and menacing figure. You fools. I have more power now. For years, I have been waiting for someone's kindness to break me free from this prison. Alex and Leo, shocked and horrified, take a step back, unable to comprehend the transformation. Turns out, you befriended an evil witch called Belladonna Shadowthorn. Belladonna Shadowthorn? But... how? Your dear friend Tina was never really Tina. I was her, Belladonna, the one your headmaster feared. He locked my powers away, because he knew I was dangerous. He is also my younger brother. More on that some other time. Alex and Leo stand there, between the shock of the revelation and the guilt of being unwittingly lured into a dark plot. And now, I shall embrace the darkness and reclaim my true power. With an ominous laugh, Belladonna Shadowthorn disappears into the shadows, leaving Alex and Leo to grapple with the consequences of their actions and the looming threat that has been unleashed.